Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am It's Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing season one, episode 40 of Sailor Moon called The Legendary Lake Yokai, The Bond of Usagi's Family. So we start off with Usagi and the family are going on a trip and it's kind of funny going up there because it's like the classic like, are we there yet? Are we there yet? I want to play the game. No. So it's one of Usagi doing all that, not Shingo. Then, because the, da the dad lost it about the necklace, it's like, did a guy give it to you? It's like, she went, yeah. And he kind of swerved, almost hit a truck. <laughs> then we cut to where the parents um, first met at this uh, lake, and we found out there's a weird energy in the lake, and that Beryl sends Endymion to that. Then Kunzai is suspicious of him. Then we cut to where Beryl wants to keep an eye on him as well, so Kunzai will check on him. Then we cut to where Shingo, um, got embarrassed and um because apparently the um like the the hot tub area is co-ed so it's like literally just pushes some in <laughs> then we cut to where shingo grabbed her towel and then we cut to where um they stop fighting then it's like sees mamaru so uh it's like goes after him and then sees the statue and hears music and it starts it kind of resonates with her and then um uh, so, Endymion, or Mama Ru appears, and, um, he doesn't know her, and then, um, he's gone when, um, this, like, his one child shows up, and then they talk about the tale, and it's basically, like, Princess Serenity, this guy, like, this girl, this other girl got jealous, and then she transformed herself into, like, a monster, and knocked them all out, including the entire village, and they say their love sealed her in this lake. So Mamoru overheard it, so uh, Mamoru broke it out. Then the monster attacks him, and then it's now after Usagi's, and uh, now the family's worried. And so the monster is after Usagi and the family, then Tetsuna Mask saves them, then the scouts show up. I, I don't know how they showed up, but they did. And then we cut to Usagi transforms after the family escaped to the inn, and the tiara on the monster uh, didn't really work. So Ray cornered it and so they tried the healing and was, the monster is going back to normal and it's on its way up to heaven because it's now that beautiful girl that was insanely jealous. Then we cut over to see the mass leaves and the family's trying to find Usagi and then you know she shows up and everything's okay and then we found out that Luna told them about the um monster stuff because apparently she was in the base and got a reading and some scouts and stuff like that and that went with the end of the episode so um great episode i really enjoyed it i gave it an a plus i thought it was a really good episode and it wasn't really about the um moon kingdom and stuff that had it, like a very good parallel to what happened to princess serenity and endymion so i really 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 enjoyed the episode i thought it was great and I like the character development with Usagi. She's being, she's still being a goofball, but she's acting more mature. But she still has that nice balance of that. So anyway, I'm super tired. I guess I only got like four hours of sleep. This person and I. Anyway, that's going to do for this video. So like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think, do you agree, disagree, tell me your thoughts down below, as well as other shows you want me to cover. It might be until like 2025, until I get to it, but I'm trying the best I can. Anyway, um, I hope you all have a great day whenever you watch this. And don't forget to subscribe because it does have all the channel a lot. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, everybody.